Good evening to you all. I'm very sorry that I'm unable to be with you in person in Malaysia. Unfortunately, global travel restrictions make travel more complex at this moment. But I'm glad that so many of you have been able to attend this evening to your graduation ceremony. I think at times many of us have wondered whether or not we would be able to meet again. And whilst there is so much to celebrate our past, today we're here to celebrate you, the success of our graduates, and to celebrate the future, your future. You will have seen from the images that were showing before the ceremony commenced that from our roots in Scotland 200 years ago, today we are a truly multinational university, unique in so many ways but with the same ethos of inclusion and education for all. The last two years have been significant to us all for many reasons. The pandemic has changed how we work, how we live, how we communicate and how we celebrate. It set us new challenges, including how you have studied, how we interact, and I would like to say a very special congratulations to everyone at today's uh, ceremony. Um, graduates, you've just been outstanding in your achievements. This academic year is a very important year for Harriet Watt University because we mark our bicentenary of the university and the 10th anniversary of Harriet Watt Malaysia and the appointment of a new chancellor and tonight the installation of our first ever pro-chancellor of the university, and we're looking forward to welcoming her into the new role. Last October, here in Edinburgh, we installed Emeritus Professor Sir Jeff Palmer as the sixth chancellor of the university. And the celebration took place on the actual weekend that 200 years earlier marked the inaugural lecture and opening of the university in Edinburgh. It was on October the 16th, 1821. At this point, the world's first mechanics institute was founded as the School of Arts of Edinburgh. And it was designed to give ordinary people access to education in science and technology. Of course, as Harriet Watt University has expanded and become the global institution that it is today, um, the university uh, court has approved that the chancellor uh, should be supported by pro-chancellors. The chancellor and the pro-chancellors have a, a unique ambassadorial role in, a, in the university to promote the university's mission, aims and achievements. And I'm delighted that following an extensive uh, search that Professor Tantri Dr. Jamala Mahmood agreed to take up the role of Pro-Chancellor Malaysia. Before I make the formal appointment of the Pro-Chancellor, um, I would like to ask the Provost and Vice Principal, Professor Mushtaq Alatabi, to present Professor Tantri Dr. Jamila Mahmood. Vice Chancellor, graduates and guests. I have the honor being asked to present Professor Tansri Dr. Jamila Mahmoud as the first Pro-Chancellor of the University. To be able to make this presentation as Harriet Watt University begins celebrations to mark 10 years in Malaysia makes today even more special. Professor Tansri Dr. Jamila Mahmoud is a distinguished health professional, humanitarian and development leader. She has dedicated her career to healing others. Working in the health sector for over 30 years as an obstetrician and gynecologist and as a humanitarian and global health leader for over 20 years. She's a strong advocate for human rights and gender equality. 
she was the driving force behind the establishment of Mercy Malaysia in 1991. Mercy Malaysia is Malaysia's most successful humanitarian organization that, work, that works both at home and abroad on very important projects. Currently, she is a professor and executive director of the newly established Sunway Center for Planetary Health, a field she is passionate about. Her previous appointments include being the special advisor to the Prime Minister of Malaysia on public health. Prior to that, she has been working globally, and from 2016 to 2020, she served as the Under Secretary General for Partnerships in the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies, IFRC. That was in Geneva. She has also worked at the United Nations in New York, heading the Secretariat for the World Humanitarian Summit, and before that, the humanitarian section of the United Nations Population Fund. The position of pro-chancellor is established in the university charter to present the chancellor acting as an advocate for the university and as a link to the university's wider community of stakeholders. Vice Chancellor, I can think of no one with better credentials to represent Harriet Watt University as our first pro-chancellor and for her to be appointed here in Malaysia. Thank you. By the authority of the court and Senate, it gives me great pleasure to confirm your appointment as pro-chancellor. The Chancellor, Sir Jeff Palmer, is sorry that he's unable to attend with us today, but he has asked me to pass on his personal best wishes and congratulations. He was really honoured that you were able to attend the ceremony to install him as our new Chancellor here in Edinburgh last October, and he's looking forward very much to working with you in the future. I would now like to ask Provost and Vice Principal to officially anoint you on my behalf with the ceremonial doffing of the university cap. Vice Chancellor, Provost, it is with great honour that I have been asked to become the first Pro-Chancellor of Harriet Watt University. And for this to happen, as Harriet Watt University Malaysia celebrates its 10th anniversary, makes it even more special. Last October, I had the opportunity to travel to Edinburgh to attend the installation ceremony when Sir Jeff Palmer became the sixth chancellor of the university. It was a privilege to be in the audience, particularly as it took place during events to celebrate the bicentenary anniversary of Harriet Watt University on the actual weekend when 200 years previously, the first lecture had taken place. Harriet Watt University is an institution that has since its inception, fostered the ethos of inclusion and education for all. In 1869, 20 years ahead of the rest of the United Kingdom, Mary Burton was the first woman on Harriet Watt University's board of directors and started a lifelong campaign for women to attend university. Since then, Harriet Watt has inspired generations of female pioneers to follow in her footsteps, and I am humbled and honoured you have selected me as the first pro-chancellor in Malaysia. I am also very proud 
to be part of the continued focus on ensuring that its doors are open to everyone here in Malaysia, in Scotland, the United Emir Arab Emirates and across the world. I know that the university is ardent in its future plans to make every student future ready and here in Malaysia to build upon the successes of our first 10 years. This means that the university will enable students to be intellectually, emotionally, culturally and ethically equipped for the future. There has never been a more important time to lead and to address the urgent matters of climate change, social justice and inclusiveness. If anything, this pandemic has taught us that equity and solidarity is the only way out of the calamity we are in today. As we look ahead, our university will continue and accelerate the imperative and duty it has to look outwards to society. We seek to raise the level of ambition and purpose in our students and in our staff to ensure that we will fulfill our mission to educate and research for the betterment of society. Vice Chancellor, I look forward to working closely with you, the Chancellor and other colleagues as Pro-Chancellor in Malaysia in support of this wonderful university. Thank you.